reality TV is coming to a courtroom near you. No, I don't mean those cheesy shows where a couple goes on a date in front of a TV crew or celebrities try to outgross each other. This is reality recreated by computer for the sake of a judge and jury. When a U.S. Marine jet clipped an aerial tram cable above an Italian ski resort, killing 20 people in 1998, it was hard to imagine how it could have happened. But when the incident came before a military court, there was no need to imagine. Jurors were able to put themselves in the pilot's seat? Well, they, with the simulation that was shown there, yes. Arthur Ginsberg's company, Visual Forensics, prepared a computer simulation which helped exonerate the cockpit crew. It shows the pilot's view of the tram towers, which should have been marked on their map, but were not. You can't expect someone to really see something you don't expect to be there. In these TV-friendly times, people are accustomed to getting information through video. So it's no surprise judges and juries are comfortable with computer simulations called forensic animation in court. They're increasingly common because they're so powerful. And the animations are especially useful to explain complex issues in cases like this one, which alleged a mechanical defect in the drive shaft of a utility cart. How the vehicle then rolled and the person was ejected and eventually killed. Ginsburg has produced computer simulations for 10 years. He and his staff take great pains to make sure their recreations are true to the facts. We'll take photographs of that scene of the vehicles and we'll compare the simulation to those photographs. Other information comes from police reports or experts who survey crime and accident scenes. We'll, we'll gather as much data as we can about the scene, we'll enter it all into the computer, and we will uh, then recreate what happened at that accident. The computer simulations, if they're properly done, have a scientific foundation. And like any other evidence, it's subject to challenge by the attorneys. The recreations are so realistic, they include things like shadows and sunlight placed at angles corresponding to the exact time and location of the incident. This provides the best uh, evidence and the best view that the uh, juror might have of what this person was experiencing in an accident or an incident. One thing you won't see, faces or graphic crash scenes. We don't go through the crash sequence and watching cars crumble and etc. Same thing with uh, pedestrian accidents. We don't show the pedestrian uh, being hit. What we want to do is make sure we present the facts and don't provide any emotional bias. Ginsburg says the recreations typically cost ten to twenty thousand dollars, but they could end up saving time and money. He says it's common for lawsuits to be settled before trial once both sides get a chance to see what actually happened. What we want to understand in an accident is where the causation lies. And if it's very evident early on, then it should even go to trial. Wireless computer networks have been heralded as one of the next big thing. 